For this problem, we need to determine whether this matrix is diagonalizable. It's a fun word. Uh, and if so, we find a matrix E and add diagonal matrix D such that we have this relationship. Uh, e inverse A, E is equal to D. And uh, I didn't mention this, but in this problem, we are um, hinted pretty strongly that we're going to get complex eigen, eigenvalues. Uh, so let's dive right in. We need to first find the eigenvalues for this matrix, uh, and that will help us tell, help tell us what this matrix D is going to be. Um, so here we have, we're going to look at the relationship of A minus lambda I. Um, so for that matrix, for matrix A, that's going to look like uh, negative lambda 2 minus 2 and negative lambda. And now we want to find the determinant of this and see what those eigenvector, eigenvalues are. So just cross multiply, that's uh, lambda squared minus, minus 4, so that's plus 4. And now we need the zeros of this. When that's equal to 0, we're going to get lambda squared equals minus 4, or lambda equals plus or minus 2i. OK, so first I didn't mention this. Um, as for determining whether the matrix is diagonalizable, um, we got distinct values here. They're not the same value, so we're good. This matrix is diagonalizable. So let's assign lambda 1 equal 2i and lambda 2 as minus 2i. OK, now we need to find the eigenvectors um, for each of these. Let's start by plugging in lambda 1 equals 2i into this matrix right here without the determinant part. Uh, 2i, plug it in as negative lambda, we get negative 2i. 2 minus 2 and negative 2i. Uh, I'll write that we're trying to find eigenvector 1. So I can simplify this down. I'm going to divide this by negative 2, and that gives me i and minus 1. And I'll divide this by negative 2 as well, and that gives me 1 and i. OK, I want to get this into reduced row echelon form. Um, OK, so when I'm working with complex numbers, it's easy, really easy, at least for me, to get confused. So I'm just going to take this real slow one step at a time. I'm going to start by multiplying the top row by i. I know that i times i is negative 1, and I know that negative 1 times i is going to be negative i. OK, cool. So what I have here is this is just negative 1 times that row. Um, so I'll multiply this one by negative 1 to get 1 and i. And I can use that to get rid of this last row, so 0, 0. Cool. Now uh, I need to take um, to get the eigenvector. Uh, we'll say that x2 is equal to t. So that's uh, x1 plus i times x2, and we'll say equal to 0. So x1 is just equal to negative i times t. So that gives us the relationship um, t times minus i and 1. And for our, for our eigenvector, um, we can pick whatever we want for t. So it's easy just to pick 1. Um, but I think I'm going to actually pick i for that. Um, so v1, I'm going to have this be i just because I want a 1 up here. I like having 1s on the top. So i times minus i, that's minus i squared. And i squared is negative 1, so that's just 1. And i times 1 is i. All right, and finally, uh, for vector 2, we can use the complex conjugate in order to get this second eigenvector. Um, so all we need to do is take the complex conjugate of this i. And that's going to be negative i. Cool. 
Cool. So we have our eigenvalues. We have our eigenvectors. Now how do we get these, this uh, E and this D? Um, so E, uh, actually I'm going to start with D. D is really easy to get. Uh, we just line up these eigenvalues uh, along the diagonal of a 2 by 2 matrix, matrix um, where all the other values are 0. So uh, lambda 1 is 2i, lambda 2 is minus 2i, and we'll have zeros here and here. E is also really easy. That's just we take the two eigenvectors and use them as columns and put them in a matrix of their own. And the only thing to look out for is to make sure that you're using them in the same order as you did in D. So here I did 1 and 2. I can also do 1 and 2. So V1 is 1i, and V2 is 1 minus i. So that's all you need to do. We have found our E and our D. If you want, uh, at home you can check this yourself. Just put in E inverse A, E, and you'll get this matrix right here. Um, so that's all you need to show. That's your answer.